Okay, uh, yeah, hi. Um, uh, today we're we gonna talk about our special problem we face um, during, you know, importing some you know, kind of mesh, uh, mesh which is having uh, some porous media. You might have uh, faced such an issue like I'm having a mesh which is having uh, you know the three different zones in it combined with fluid um, and um, porous and uh, the solid zone so this is a multi-zone model and um, I prepared the mesh in um, the ICEM CFD software uh, from ANSYS and uh, the problem, uh, the issue I face is, you know, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you I've um, made this multi-zone mesh and I'm gonna read this so I, I'm gonna receive this kind of problem cannot change porous bottom wall to porous jump because this porous jump because there is only one adjacent cell thread so this uh, kind of error you might have faced and if uh, if you click over there this will go for another um, boundary condition again this uh, can I change porous upper wall this time this is upper wall uh, first time this was uh, the bottom wall to porous jump because there's only one adjacent cell thread and um, what does that mean by is um, uh, this means by this means uh, that uh, this uh, you still can see that it's sometimes trying to um, load the mesh. The problem is um, you cannot do it so. No, I do so, mm, and if you again click over OK, so we'll keep you know loading, trying to load. Again, if I click, nothing happens, nothing changes. If you cross this, this will give some error in our host. Uh, Third set profile variable, something kind of, uh, you know, invalid uh, boundary condition specifications. So it won't load. And you can see here, this is the circle, is, you know, getting revolved. So that means still trying to load the mesh. But I will keep going on to the eternity it will never load the mesh so if you're trying to close this, this won't close so we'll have to close through right click task manager and go to this the this CX 2020 whatever the version you're having I'm having fluent version 2020 so I'm gonna click over there and I'm gonna end the task so this window go off. So now the process is closed. So how to resolve this issue? Um, this actually, this problem is related to the boundary condition, <coughs> and um, that boundary condition <coughs> needs to be specified. So um, I'm gonna you know l go to the same folder where I uh, have saved the project and I'm gonna go this um, to this um, see the practice and I'm um, I've created this multi-zone folder so this was um, our project file multi-zone so you know you're you're having this uh, porous upper and porous bottom so those were giving you the issue. The issue was, you know, relative to this, um, these two boundary conditions. This is um, because of you know one specific reason. Because this is the porous zone I've created uh, in this case. So this is having upper wall, porous upper wall, and this is porous bottom wall. So actually, this was not getting treated, you know, Fluent has some issues like it automatically detects some kind of, you know, the some um, the boundary conditions. It automatically automatically tries to to get this those boundary conditions. 
So, you know, it was uh, kind of showing you that cannot create this to this porous jump. Actually, that was not treating them to be the walls. And because um, it was no walls, that means it should be kind of um, enclosure. But that was not given because this uh, acts like a porous should be having some, you know, closed um, wall. If there's no, you know, uh, other domain, it should be having some thing like that. So to resolve this issue, you should be um, converting these to the walls. <coughs> that means you should give mm, some better names relative to this, uh, relative to the walls. You can say wall one and wall two. So then Fluent will detect them like a, like walls, and I'll, that's what I've created here. I'm going to show you here what I've done. I just went to the parse and and from this porous upper wall what I, what did I do is I um, just renamed it wall 1 the same way I did this uh, wall 2 you can see here this is wall 2 I did this and just finished I just renamed again I just said uh, <coughs> this pre mesh uh, you know I made it on and this gave me this kind of you know this is some recomputation and I just said yes I created this I just uh, clicked over this convert to one structure and then it was converted and then I took an output the same way as we um, do our regular business and then I closed I, I closed it and um, I just saved it before that's why I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna save it again so I just said no and you can see this folder so I just created a different mesh, you know, um, the mesh with a different, uh, I took an output, I exported this with a different name saying testmesh.msh. So let's dig in and let's try to open this mesh, whether this um, gets, this problem gets resolved or not. So I'm just opening here and um, I'm going to load the mesh again. So I'll, I'll click, click over this uh, file and then read the mesh. We'll go to the same folder. Uh, what was that? Um, that was um, I see, uh, see if to practice. And I'm gonna go over Multizan, and this was the test mesh I've created. I'm gonna double click over this, and I'm gonna load this. So this time it's getting loaded, and um, here you can see that. Um, is showing you this um, this um, the domain no error no error message so I'm gonna go over here uh, to the cell zone conditions and you can see that this is a solid zone if you click over here you'll see that um, some interior so this is a kind of solid zone this is a solid zone and uh, this fluid and porous that are coming into this fluid um, because porous is also uh, treated like a fluid and but the thing is you know you need to check you need to cross check whether this is really um, porous so because you get only two types so you can see that one is fluid and one is solid so of course there's a fluid and solid so you need to click over this and say edit and um, if you want to create this to be the porous we're talking about this one this time this one this porous so I'm gonna go over this porous and right click and say edit I'm gonna click over this porous zone and I'll say apply now this is the porous one this zone has been it will be treated uh, like a porous. So this is the solution for this type of problems. If you uh, receive uh, kind of you know porous jump, cannot convert to porous jump because this this um you know this cannot jump this boundary through this boundary. It should be an enclosure.
here it, in, it is an interface interface and this one is also an interface the second interface this is having two interfaces so um, uh, yeah uh, you need to change you need to close these boundaries so this will give uh, this won't give a jump kind of thing you know porous jump uh, is a kind of you know this is not a boundary so it cannot jump that means it cannot jump so now this is how you can resolve the problem that's what that's all for this um, lecture mm, bye bye take care